If you guys want to know how to access any Roblox games admin GUI, I'll be showcasing the Dex Viewer script and showing you number one, how to get the script, number two, how to execute and open it, and lastly, showing you its features and how to access the admin GUIs. So to get started, you're going to want to head to the first link in the description and scroll down until you see this blue get script button. Of course, you want the script, so make sure to click, but then X out two times out of the two pop-ups, guys. But on the third time you click, it'll actually bring you to a loot lab that looks a little bit like this and here all you have to do is click on the task and then wait about a minute or two for it to confirm into a green check mark and then you can click on unlock or continue and that'll bring you to a page that looks a little bit like this and here all you have to do is copy this script then go ahead and open up your roblox emulator today i'm going to be using eve on android with of course ld player but you guys can use any executor it doesn't really matter but i'm going to go ahead open up eve on android click on the load script button and then you can go ahead and click on execute and if you minimize it you can see dex is now opening up and boom there we go we got our dex viewer ui now if you guys have ever used studio on roblox this probably looks a little familiar and it works the same but real quick thanks to the sponsor of this segment unnamedkeys.cc they sell tons of cheap wave keys going from daily weekly monthly 90 and even yearly licenses for the best rates on the market not to mention their hundreds of positive reviews and high quality fast support that you guys can get so check out unnamedkeys.cc in the second link below but let's continue with the video but in order to access the admin gui you're gonna want to go ahead go to your player so this is my account right there and then we're gonna want to go ahead to go to player gui and scroll down you're just gonna want to look for something like dev ui admin ui it's gonna be something named like that so i'm just gonna go ahead scroll through and also something you guys can do is actually search for it so if you put an admin there you can see that it pops up with any admin name things so first oh right there play gui we got admin panel so that does look like that is the right thing we can go ahead and enable it and as you can see we got our admin gui up now we can uh see our group rank is admin uh we also have location in game uh you know our user id i don't Bruh. know who this is it's someone though and of course you guys can you know type in stuff Stuff, type in stuff there refresh and all that good stuff all right now of course this is basically just visual but it is pretty cool because you can access the same ui that the game admins usually do and that's not of course all we have a lot more things and this does work on basically all games of course the game does require to have a admin ui otherwise there's nothing to open so i will be showing you blocks fruits and arsenal because arsenal has a pretty crazy set of admin uis so i will show you that but anyway you guys can also see a bunch of other stuff if we just delete our search term here you know you can see all other informations in the game and this is really useful if you're trying to write a script for the game so if you're trying to make your own script to you know auto farm or do esps you can see the exact locations of everything in the game and just better do that yourself but let's move on to arsenal and then we'll go to blast free all right guys here we are our in arsenal so let's go ahead same deal load script execute and then the script will pop up and you do the same process you just go to players and then you go to yourself your own username should be listed there and of course you guys also do see other players in the game but you do need to select yourself so it can show up to you but then let's go ahead and find the player gui and then i don't know what what this is i it's, it's a little troll feature easter egg it says um is it rolf 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 and Tai Chi knows your name. Okay, quit the yap. Nobody cares. Um, what we're looking for is the admin. Okay, we got hidden UI. I don't know what this is. Let's let's check this out. What is this? Okay, well we can't enable it. Okay, let's go ahead and just search up um admin. That's usually it usually always works. But as you guys can see in this instance, it actually doesn't pop up with any UIs named admin because sometimes they do have them named other things. Maybe it's a uh, dev because often there is like a dev panel. Um, player UI. No no no. Okay, I went ahead and found it and now all we have to do is enable visible and boom we have the main creator panel there is another one uh it's called the vote panel which i will check out in just a second but first off you know we have a whole player list right there you know we can kick people you know we can put a sock pop kick oh no let me, let me tap that again sock pop. kick boom you're kicked you're out of here and you can also spawn ghost you can do slow motion low gravity spawn fog the fog is coming um you also have hide weapons spawn chicken and you can of course also 
also select a particular map or a mode that you want to play in and give reward. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but I guess uh, it's for like content creators and Arsenal. So this is a pretty cool thing. I didn't really know how this ever looked like. I never saw this, but you can clearly do it right there. And not only that, we do have a vote thing. I'm not sure what this is, but let's let's open it up and just, you know, check it out. And then active. And it looks like it's some random thing within the main thing. Because it doesn't seem to be popping up. And you guys can see where the location of that menu would be, which is right here. Um, yeah, I really have no clue what that would be, but it looks like you can't really enable it. It's just hidden by default. Now, I'm sure if you guys mess around with it a little, you can try to probably figure out most games where their admin things are. But it does sometimes take a second because, you know, sometimes they hide it, sometimes they don't. And, you know, you're not supposed to be able to do this, obviously. So it's just like not fully a smooth experience. Um, we can also see custom game mode. Okay, here we are. So you guys can uh, change the weapon pool. That's pretty nice. And the team size, player speed. Um, oh, I reset something. I didn't mean to do that. And, you know, you guys can mess around with the buttons. Of course, typically it won't actually do anything. But it is a fun thing to just check out and see in all your favorite games. You know, you can see what the admin sees for yourself in your own game. And this won't get you banned. There's zero chance of that because, you know, it's just client side. No one else can see this. So you're perfectly safe doing this. But let's go ahead and go over to Blocks Fruits because I'm sure you guys love Blocks Fruits as well. All right, guys, here we are on Blocks Fruits. We're going to do the same deal. Load script, execute, you know the drill. All right. And let's wait for this to load up and then we can search. Uh, once again, not all games have the exact same, you know, file location or file names. So you do kind of have to search around and already we found dev GUI. So this is probably it. I don't know if we have like an admin GUI. I believe they do a lot of their stuff through commands. And that's something you'll find in a lot of games. A lot of games don't have a admin menu in the game they just do commands and sometimes they have like external menus you know but anyway let's go ahead and try to open this up it's active and visible boom and now we have a server variable editor i don't know variable editor what, what are you supposed to do with this um we can type you know uh hello it doesn't do anything but you know you, you guys see it right there and we got a dev menu i'm not quite sure what it's supposed to do you edit variables cool i suppose we can also check out what this image is uh, I'm not quite sure. Oh, it's the toggle menu. So as you guys can see right there, make it visible or invisible. You see that little menu with a little paper pop up. So now you guys can have the dev icon on your game. You can be like, yo, bro, I'm a dev. Check. I, I have it up right here. Give me all your fruits. Trust, trust. This might be the new scamming method. Don't don't use it for that. Though. That's bad. That's bad. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's let's move on from that. Let's see if we have any other features, though. Um, let me disable this one. Uh, let's see. We have gift claim window, juice window what is a juice um is that a thing in, in box fruits <laughs> i wasn't familiar with this i am i am on this third wait I'm on the, i am on the third c so you know i should know this but i guess i don't um let's see i mean it says it's enabled it doesn't seem to be working so we'll move on from the juice i don't know what that is um but you guys can see all the other juice in the game we got twitter codes we got universal buttons and yeah pretty cool pretty cool you guys can also of course just see the server side scripts but the admin menus are probably not not gonna be there so if you want to see your admin menu in any game you're playing once again you guys are gonna want to go to players and then go to yourself open up the drop down and then go to player gui and then you guys will be able to see all the different gui's that each player has access to overall and the admin should be in there and let's also open the server browser let's see what this is all about that sounds a little fancy you know server browser i don't know if normal people have access to that but now we're gonna okay whether you like it or not mr blocks fruits all right we're gonna check this out we're gonna see what type of secrets you're hiding in your server browser boom we got it open okay now we see the servers we're in the system we're in okay um we got angry rabbit server we got a live angel server we got nice spring beautiful twang <laughs> what are these names okay anyway i mean you guys can see like the different regions that these servers are in the amount of players in them uh, the, the names even though it's kind of like why would you need that anyway you guys can also search by region so let's say we want washington uh let's see washington boom and then you see all the servers in washington or we want um uh i don't know let's see let's see what else we have we want florida florida boom you guys see all your florida servers oh my gosh there's a lot look at this 
Look at this scroll. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's it's a 500k player game. So I guess it's not that surprising, right? But uh, geez, that's a lot. And you can also search by server name or show full servers as well. That'll probably make the list like two times bigger. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, let me try to join. Oh, and it actually works. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, crash. <laughs> okay. Okay, I could test it out myself, but I'm not gonna because I want you guys to go and try it out. It's pretty cool to see your favorite games, Edwin GY, in your own pov you know you don't have to watch a video of the dev or an admin you just do it yourself and you see all that they also have access to so definitely check it out it's a cool thing of course dex viewer is nothing new it's nothing unknown but a lot of people don't know about what it does or what it is and a lot of you guys were clowning me for the infinite yield video but it actually performed very well and a lot of people are like oh that's really cool i didn't know that because there's a lot of new exploiters okay guys all right not everything that you think is obvious is obvious to other people especially if they're brand new they, they probably don't know what everything is even the most classic and obvious stuff that you may think is obvious which isn't to new people okay so i'm basically doing this for them all right and if you guys are more experienced exploiters then i guess this is this is not something too crazy but I, the admin thing is cool i didn't really know about that until i kind of was testing around with the x viewer but anyway thank you for sticking on until the end leave a like subscribe down below and i will catch you in that video how to get eve on executor to do this yourself or that video on how to get infinite yield yeah that's right i'm doubling down get infinite yield op script admin gy actual admin abilities though so check it out bye